Hey guys, you're watching Daniel and Gian React, and today we're going to check out the trailer for Don 2, starring the one and only Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, let's get into it. This music's kind of sexy. And then it disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> it's very weird for a trailer to have the opening... They just uh, really, anime. Reliance Entertainment really wants you to know that it was them. I was like, is this a trailer? Are we watching the whole movie? What's I know, that's what on? I'm saying. It's very weird for them to waste 30 seconds to do this. Or I picked the wrong trailer. If this is, if where he was in his boat is in India, where is it at in India? Oh yeah, we don't have this, no subtitles on this one. Oh, that's uh... I think that's a girl from Quantico. Yeah, I really looked hard for subtitles for this trailer and there's just nothing. Oh. I hope this is a prison movie. I love prison movies. <laughs> I think that's the girl from Quantico. I've never seen that show. You have to look it up right after. Jesus. <laughs> This is an older one, so this has already been out. I think this. I think the uh, the first one came out of even like a, there was a long separation between the sequels. But I obviously I don't know for sure. So I saw also in 3D. I, I want to ask you guys something. Do you guys like watching movies in 3D? Because I can't stand it. Anytime I see a movie in 3D, unless it was completely shot in I'm 3D. Look up when it came out. 2010. Um, oh. Said it right there. Um, the only time I'll watch a movie in 3D is if it's like Avatar, which was completely shot in 3D. So it was made for 3D, it. yeah. The, a lot of these movies, they'll add the 3D effects later, and it's always something stupid like a rock flying at the screen. Or, exactly. Well, the other, th a, the other thing is... Cap. The other thing is... One of the other comments spoke about how uh, Gangs of Wasapur was having release issues because... The reason why they split it into two different movies was because you only have so many screens in your local cinema... Which I didn't know about that, so like. Well, it makes sense. Like, I'm I'm assuming this means means like smaller villages and stuff. They might only have one screen, so they can't like you know they don't have as many multiplexes. So. Which is interesting to me because I I feel like in America most theaters have uh, at least eight screens. I'd say usually you don't find very many that have less than that unless it's like a specialty theater where it's where movie premieres are or something like that. And the comments mentioned that that's not actually that common in India, that it's usually on the smaller side. You might have one theater with one screen. Or three screens. Three screens. So you can't screen, basically you can't have like 15 different movies. Right, so you're gonna be constantly swapping movies out if they're if they're big name people, you know. I'm not sure how many movies uh, between all three cons they're releasing every year, but I'm sure that they're putting them out at a healthy pace. Well, Amir puts out one movie a year. See, I mean, that's already, but I mean, they're not the only filmmakers, right? So any other director, they're going to have to take... You're either going to have to keep Amir Khan's movie in for longer and sacrifice other people's movies, which is going to make you make less money, or you take it out early and then you put these other... So it's just this interesting thing to where... Do 3D movies have precedence is, I guess, yeah. where, where we're going to. is like Because in America, not anymore, 
if this were five years ago, 3D movies would be, if, if your movie was released in 3D, it's top priority because honestly, that's the way you can make the most money out of someone. What's the gimmick that yeah, they had exactly. at the time? Uh, but now, actually 3D is becoming less and less popular. Uh, IMAX, the company even said that they would be pretty much stopped releasing their movies in IMAX 3D for every IMAX movie because there was a lot of movies that were just converted just for 3D. I mean, the issue at hand with the 3D is like it's just really hard to sit in a theater for two and a half hours with glasses on your face. And if you're someone like me who Always has glasses, double glasses, I have to put glasses on my glasses. And then as filmmakers, what we can both attest to, and you as the viewers, you can attest to, is it just makes it look dark. The image is just dark. The 3D isn't always good all the time because sometimes they just do it in post. They don't actually shoot for 3D. So I know we're not really talking about Dawn 2 here, but this was shot in 3D. And when I look at it, when I, we were watching the trailer right now, I never once thought about, oh man, this would be a good movie in 3D. I mean... Other than that part when he's he's falling down, whatever he was falling into or whatever. I don't think I ever say... That this movie needs to be in 3D? Yeah. Well, Avatar, like you said, but... Well, that's because... That's, that, that's what it's made for. That was his for. own gimmick, and he wanted... And then, but there's that. other filmmakers that say, like, from the beginning, hey, we're going to do this in 3D, there's a reason for it. Life of Pi, was, that was a movie. I truly uh, loved the 3D aspect of it. I know you didn't watch Great Gatsby, but that was another good movie in 3D. Um... <laughs> But uh, yeah, anyways, yeah, like that. Back to Don too. I mean, wh- my question for you guys is like Priyanka Chopra. That's that's yeah. That's what I said. She's in she's in Quantico. That's what it is. You're right. You're right. Yeah. For the names I knew so the names how do you, familiar. How do you guys feel about Priyanka Chopra, who's like now a crossover star here in the U.S.? You know, is that something like? Well, she was in Baywatch too. I didn't know that. Um, like, the, is the, that the something that you're into? Is that like something like really cool that you're proud of? Because I know. I mean. Starring in your own TV show on American television is pretty big, I think. On network television, on network too. Television, on ABC, which is that's a big deal. Way bigger than a Netflix show or an HBO show. 100%. Yeah. Cause and because is the show still on or did they cancel it? It's still on. Because uh, it says 2018, so did she die or did they end of the show? That was her show. So it might not be, it might be over. Let's see. Season 3 premiere, 2018. No, I'm wrong. It's still on. Okay, then. Yeah. So that's even better, then. That, cause that's, I mean, anyway, I, I, I think it's, I think that's cool. I, I've never seen Quantico. I mean, it looks like she's still doing movies in India. Which is great. Which Gotta is, stay back to your, cool. to your roots. Um, but anyways, the other question I have is about, uh, SRK. Um, it just kind of feels like I can't nail down what kind of movies he makes. He seems to make every Everything. kind of movie. Whereas Salman Khan seems to make almost only action movies. And then Amir Khan, he's like... He can do an action he, movie. He can do an action movie, but I think most of the stuff we've seen have been a little more on the artsy side. Personal yeah. and, and message films, which is great. We're not, we're not talking, talking bad about it. Right. But SRK, yeah. Because, I mean, maybe that's why people love him so much. Maybe that's why he's the, you know, number two in the world. Still don't know who number one is. Number but, two money-wise. Oh, money-wise. He might wise. actually be the biggest star in the world. Got it. So from some of the comments I was reading, you guys are telling me like, in other countries. Three billion people recognize the guy. Well, no, not just that, but like there's people, he's big in other, like in European countries. Which is crazy. Yeah. Because, you I mean, American stars are big, don't get me wrong. Tom Cruise is big, but I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't, I, because well, it goes back to, there was a story, and it's not movie related at all, guys, but David Beckham came with his wife to LA. We played for the Galaxy. When they got signed, and he asked the store to completely shut down so they could shop, and they laughed him out of the store. <laughs> Because they had no idea who he was. But in England, any that other would... country in the world, yeah, you know, at least soccer playing countries, football countries, would have known who David Beckham was. Right. And they would have shut the store down in a, in a heartbeat. But I wonder what store that was. LA. I, I, you can find it somewhere, but you know, that's interesting. And that happens here. Like, if we don't know you, you know, it doesn't I mean, matter. I didn't know who SRK was before. Yeah, this. we still I don't know. genuinely. I mean, yeah, we've seen him on trailers now, and now we know of well, him. Well, I feel like he's my friend now. <laughs> After I watched that Dubai commercial, like me and him. If I, yeah, if I ever go to Dubai and then I don't meet him I'm and, he's, and he's not serving my I'm food. Ruin my Dubai if trip. If I go skydiving and he's not on the plane with me. Yeah, I'm going to say that that advertisement. False advertisement and then I'm going to take Dubai to court and totally. then lose. Because they, they have literally all the money in the world. Totally false advertisement. Uh, but I think that'll do it for yeah, this one. Yeah, that'll do it. Thanks but, for watching, guys. You know thanks the for the drill. recommendation, too. Yeah, thanks for the rec. Uh, 
Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, leave some comments, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time. You can check out some of the other reaction videos we've done over here. Keep a lookout for our Gangs of Wasipur uh, review coming out September 27th. We'll see you guys soon.